Hi and uh, welcome to a, another little video I put together for you. This one is literally just, I'm going to show you how to fix these four tracks that have got brakes in them. There's one, two, three and four. I'm going to show you four different methods just to, you know, basically choose what one you, you prefer and what one's suitable for the application. So I'll start with number one. Um, I'm just going to, do, because this one, the brake's not as good, I'm going to do you the standard sort of fix that most people would do on this one. So I'll just quickly show you how I do this one. What you do, you literally scrape back about, about a millimetre each side, just to expose the copper under the resist. And literally this one's just going to be a simple bridge over the top with solder. But if the gap's too big, you can't really do that. So that's why I'll sort of show you the other methods. So you li literally just scrape back a millimetre. I'll just brush this off after to get rid of the resist. That should do it. Right, so all you do, scrape back about that. Just get a little brush. Or you can literally blow it off if you want. <laughs> just clean that off, just use your finger. Right, a little bit of flux over the top. So I always use my flux and then literally just you can just blob over the top of that with a bit of uh, yeah a bit of solder obviously so literally a bit on there and that should you tin both sides and then quick blob over the top might take two or three goes and there you go you've got a simple blob over the top and that is the standard fix for, for what most people you know could get away with so that's quite a good option so that's option number one right so now we come to sort of option number two this is basically what i've got here i've got a little bit of kynar wire um yeah i've just stripped the sleeving off you could use a resistor leg or you know whatever you can find that's appropriate literally all i do there i'm just going to lay it on the pads already prepared them same as the first option and literally just solder it across now kind of is actually 30 gauge which is basically if i squashed it down it's exactly a track size so that's quite important that you sort of match it up so what i do i literally i've already preloaded my iron i put a little bit of flux on there you sort of need your flux to sort of make the solder flow nice so i just and just lay that in position i've already got a little bit on my iron so i literally just do the first end you see you've got a nice joint with sort of pine off perfectly in place and like, I'll turn that round, you know, just so much easier. And uh, I'll just do the other and I'll clean it up and sort of you can see what it looks like. But this yeah, this is this is quite a standard option which a lot of people would use. Some people cut the wire after they've done both ends, but I sort of like to do it first. Literally just you've got two nice joints. Let's just give it a quick scrub with a bit of cleaning fluid and uh, yeah, you can see it should come out nice. I'll just give it a little wipe over to get the worst off. I'll take photos of all these at the end and uh, yeah, you'll see what they come out like. So, so you can see you've got two nice joints. You know, basically you've got a nice bit of sold both ends, perfectly bridged. And uh, yeah, so that's option number two. Right, so now we come to sort of another option. This is basically option number three. So it's literally the same as number two, but I'm going to leave the sleeving on the kyanol wire. So literally a little bit of flux. So I preloaded my iron again. So you can't really squeeze the sleeving, so you have to hold the other end. And just literally tack that on. As you can see, it's gone sort of nice straight away. You sort of just push the other end down. And I'll literally turn the board round just to a... Uh, yeah, you find it so much easier if you sort of spin the board, otherwise it gets pretty hard. So literally do the second end. Same as the first, a little bit of flux. If you've got a long track to repair, this is a better option because you're basically giving it a little bit of protection from things shorting out on it. So you literally bit on your iron. And what I do, I hold the first end down, to, otherwise the sort of wire could move. Yeah, literally, if you're quick, you get away with it. There you go, you've got two nice joints. It's basically, yeah, you've got two nice joints, sort of nice bit of sleeving in the gap. What do I clean that up and just get a little, you know, a bit of a better view? I'll take some photos, like I said, and uh, put them at the end. So this is like a third option. This is quite good, say, if you've got a long track to repair. 
you can't really just use sort of bare metal so try and leave the sleeving on so there you go you've got two nice joints um that's so you've got basically yeah that's a better option when the fourth option i'm just going to graft a bit of tracking from another board so that's sort of a bit more difficult um so i'd probably say go for one of the first three but that's option number three okay so now we come to the last option this isn't sort of number four this is quite a hard option um but it's one I like to use. You can get away with the tracks if they're sort of a centimetre or shorter, but anything longer you'd really need the third option. So yeah, literally I've already taken a bit of track from a, you know, another track on sort of another board, exactly the same width. If you want to see how I do that, if you go to my repairing pads video, I show it all on there how I remove my tracks and sort of prepare them like this. So just for the speed of this, I've already sort of done it. Literally, yeah, all I, I do, um, I've got my little bit of track already prepared, a little bit of flux, so you just lay it in there, I've already got a little bit of solder on the iron, you can literally just tack one end to get a little bridge, and do the same the other end, and you, yeah, you've actually got a nice little bit of track grafted in there, exactly the same, just lower that bit. That's fine. So yeah, literally, that's grafted in from another track elsewhere on another board. I'll just clean it up. But this is quite a hard option. Um, you can always go over the joints with a little bit of tack pack glue or conformal coating if you want to protect them from getting shorts on anything else. So that is quite a difficult option, but it's a, you know it's a very good option. It matches the track size perfectly, and uh, yeah, eventually you know if you practice the other three, you could get to do that one. So um, yeah, that's option number four. So I hope you enjoyed all them, um, hope you learnt something. Say the first three are the sort of standard ones, number four is a little bit more difficult. Um, yeah, what I do, I put some pictures up after of all the sort of finished joints and uh, and finished repairs. I hope you learnt something and uh, yeah, please like and subscribe and uh, I'll put a few more up, so thank you.